Hello, my name is Roman Mironov. Did you know that with the release of the version 3.0, Omega T has become easier to use than ever? Watch this video to see some of the most important changes in Omega T that bring usability to the next level. Omega T now comes with the tokenizers. The tokenizers are stemmers that allow Omega T to treat words with the same stem, such as improvement and improve as similar words for the purposes of the glossary and fuzzy matching. Until this last version, they were available as a plugin only. To use a tokenizer, a user had to download a plugin, put it into the plugin subfolder, and create a BAT script that launched a MegaT with the appropriate tokenizer. If you translate it from different languages, you had to have a separate script for each source language. This could be quite challenging for non-technical folks. Well, this is history. Because the tokenizers are now integrated in Omega T, they load automatically based on the source and target language settings of your project. You can check the tokenizer used in the project properties dialog. In this example, an English tokenizer enables Omega T to match the noun improvement in the glossary to the verb improve in the source text. A similar improvement is integration of the language tool plugin. While this plugin wasn't as difficult to manage as the tokenizer plugin, you still had to take a few additional steps before making it work for you. Omega T 3.0 eliminates all those steps. Just go to Options and enable Language Checker. In this segment, Language tool detects two problems. The sentence starts with a lowercase letter and there is a double space. Before using the new version, make sure you delete the two plugins, tokenizers and language tool, from the plugins folder if you have them. Frustrating behavior with the versions until 3.0 was the removal of all tags from the beginning and the end of the segments. While this function is indeed practical in most cases because it removes superfluous tags, it also occasionally removes some of the tags that you need in the target segment to phrase the translation correctly. In this example, this function deletes a variable tag, which must be kept in the translation because I will need to move it around in the translation. I can open the source file with the text editor to confirm there is a variable tag. Here it is. It represents the name of a test. CSF. This is how the actual text looks like. I want to translate the sentence into Russian, which normally has a different word order. That means strip of CSF rather than CSF strip. With the tag outside of the segment, there's absolutely no way for me to put the word strip in front of CSF in the translation. With the release of the version 3.0, however, this is no longer a problem. I just go to the filter settings, whether global or project specific, and disable the remove leading and trailing tags checkbox. After reloading the project, Omega T displays a tag. Enabling me to move it around freely in a segment.
the file filters dialog also includes two other new options. I haven't used them yet. You may want to discover them on your own. That's it for today. Thank you for your time and stay tuned for other materials about the excellent progress of Omega Team.